Lorne Armstrong is a fucking Lorne. For years this inbred sloped eye cause of COVID-19 blamed his life problems on a woman named Paula. A Sega Saturn probably has a better ability to decipher reality than Lorne. He is known for having a small curved dick. Paul and Lorne were never formally a couple. It was all created in Lorne's pea brain. When he is not crying about Paula, he is typically crying about Winnie. Otherwise he is crying into a phone to a robot about sausages. And when he is not crying, you can probably find him masturbating to Rota on the phone. Please arrest this man on site or call the authorities. Join me for these intriguing and fascinating cases in tonight's edition on Saw Mysteries. Well, the, the whole thing stems around Paula. Well, when she fucked around and all that shit. And it, it just stuck in my head. It's like I can in 1993. Have something after that. In 1993. No, 1995. Oh, 1995, I'm sorry. Think about the time and space that that's there. Between that year know, and this year. We'll, we'll see it. In, uh, that's what my problem is, though. It's stuck in my head that that I gave her all my trust. And Why would you give all I your trust to her. someone? Why would you give all your trust to someone? Well, I, I trusted this one as dick around. Were you in a relationship? We wasn't in any relationship, okay. we were in a fourth day relationship. Okay, perfect. Just like with Wayne. Hey, I broke up with her. Good. Yeah, she told me. No. I, I told her. I told her it's temporary until she gets through rehab and we can get back together. Okay. I did everything I could. And I didn't like doing it all, at all. So I'm not happy right now at all. I'm pretty, pretty fucking pissed off. Why are you pissed I off? Fucking, because I fucking hurt her. I done told you I didn't want to fucking hurt her. You did the right thing, Lauren. I don't care if you think that me and her don't love each other. We do. And when she's when she's done with rehab, if she wants to, if her and I get back together, there better be nobody that fucking interrupts us. If she gets I will clean, go, I will go off the fucking deep end. I'm not worried about there's, you. There's, there's not one person that will want to fucking mess sober, with me. If she gets clean and sober and feels like she wants to deal with you, then that's her problem. <laughs> That's all I want. That's why I did this. That fucking kills me. You're fucking crying. I fucking hate this shit. I don't do anything for the purpose of hurting her. I'm looking out for her best interest. And when she comes out on the other side of I this... I know you are, and I understand everything that, you, that you're saying. I really do. I'm just not happy about fucking hurting her. You I hope she didn't have to hear you I love like her. this. Huh? I hope she didn't have to hear you like this. No, she didn't. I fucking thank God. Somehow I kept it together. Okay. Excellent. But I did hear you, I heard you threaten me before not to mess with you. So I'm telling you, don't ever threaten me again. Don't I'm not going to be an asshole to you. Don't you ever threaten me. I am not don't threatening you. Don't you ever threaten me. Listen, I am not going to be listen. an asshole to you. I am not going to be an asshole to you of any kind, but I don't deserve and I don't appreciate being threatened by anything. I didn't do I'm anything to anybody. I'm making myself perfectly clear. And, I'm, and I'm me, I made myself perfectly clear, too. I'm not going to be an asshole to anybody, and I'm trying Good. to do what's best for her. Great.
It fucking killed me hearing her crying. Well, hopefully it was quick and easy. No, it wasn't quick. It's, it wasn't quick. It was about two hours worth. Jesus, that's what I was afraid of. Well, I can't just hang up on her when she's crying. I can't do that. It's probably just the same thing over and over. Mm, yeah. That doesn't help anyone. It just makes everyone feel worse. I was trying so hard to explain to her, you know, this is to make sure that you can get through it easier without stressing me being a boyfriend. Yeah, from what I understand, that's not a great time. Huh? From what I not understand, that's not a great time. Being your girlfriend is not a great time. Not on some things, it's not. There's things that I need to work on, too. Yeah. I, and, I, and I told her while, she, while she's in there working on that, I can be working on my stuff that I need to work on. Good. So it would be better for both of us all the way around. What are you going to work on? I'm not drinking. I thought you already agreed to that. I did. It's, it's, yeah. it's just like any other drug. It's, it's tough sometimes. Even though, uh, uh -huh. even though I'm not a big drinker, it's still tough sometimes. So since we've talked, you've had a little drinking? <laughs> anyway. Oh, there's my answer. Oh, well, don't, don't, I don't need you trying to get things against me. I knew that was coming. I don't need to get anything against you. I'm trying to get myself straight. So I'll be good for her. So what are you going to do differently now? That now that you're not going to have drinking, supposedly, to fall back on, what is it that you're going to do to fill your time? And when you get stressed and when you feel like you're hanging out with your friends or your brother? No, uh, I, I don't ever feel like hanging out with my brother. Okay, whatever. I, I'm I, I, talking about I, anything else. I'm going to work on the house. Work, work on, on the house, house, work on the wood. You work on my class. You see my class. Okay. Work on, work on my music. I'll start doing my music again. Work on anything. Just spend time with the dogs. Anything and everything that I can do to to get myself where I need to be, so I can be better for her. I want. Don't you start just to be better for her? You know. I want I want it to be better for both of us. No, when you when you work on yourself and you improve your life, the people who belong there are going to be there, and so they're no. gonna ha they're gonna receive the benefit of you being a good person. But you know, when you make that person the reason for your change. That's not a strong motivation at all, even though it feels like it is. Like you want to, you want to impress her, or you want <laughs> to be this good person, however you want to define it for her in the future. I mean, that's not that's not a strong motivator. So I want to be a good person yourself. for me too. I, I very much want to do it for me too. Cause I, that should be number I like one. Of, I don't like some of the turns that I've made and. And I, I really I could be so much further if I would have been paid more attention. Hang on a sec. <laughs> Sorry, one of my dogs barged in on me. Getting changed. Uh huh? One of my dogs, one of dogs barged in me. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You can find a better place to go. <laughs> no, no, she wanted to be with me. Mm -hmm. they anyway, fenced in area. Mm -hmm. They don't have a fenced in area. My dogs yeah. are in the house right now. They hang out oh. in the house, and they go outside when they need to. Mm -hmm. Mind you too. Here at the yeah. dog door, so you yeah. can know as they please. Exactly, and I walk them every day. Actually, I walk them twice a day. 
Yeah. I'd like to be able to walk them every day, but I don't know if I'm do that. Well, that's something that you can do then. That's one of the things I can do, yeah. Yeah. Good. A lot of, a lot of people walk the dogs on this road. Good. Maybe you can meet a nice lady out there. No, I'm not going to try to meet anyone. I'm waiting for her. Okay. I told you, I really do love her. Oh, Lauren, what am I going to do with you? I know it doesn't make sense to you. Sometimes it doesn't make sense to me either, but... She's just so special. Well, you said to me that she wasn't girlfriend material right now. Well, and you were right. right now. I know right now she's not. I, I understand it, too. I hate okay. it. But I understand it. It still hurts. Yeah, it can be sad and disappointing. You know, like, I wish it was a different way. But you can't dwell on that. You know, because those are just... That's just how you're feeling right now, and and emotions go away. You know, they can fade. And, they, you know, just like when you were talking about stuff that happened to you, like with Paula and, you know, whatever in the past, you said that all of these things still hang on to you. And, you know, the reality is is that the emo there's still going to be some emotion that you feel if you're going to... Um, if you're going to think about these things, you know, you're still going to feel sad. You're going to feel disappointed. That's not going to go away. I mean, I can think about things, you know, from when I was a kid and be like, oh, that was really sad. And it can make you sad, but it just is a matter of what do you do now? You know, is that going to dictate how you act? Emotions are immediate. <laughs> they happen you know, without even without even knowing um, that they're going to happen. And you don't have any control over that because it happens in your subconscious. But it's what your actions, your actions are what you're going to have control over. Hang on one more second, sorry. It's okay. These dogs. <laughs> anyway, um, so what I was saying is that you know actions are 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 your your actions are what you have control over, and so when you allow those emotions to dictate how you're going to act, that's when you get yourself into trouble. Like for example, yeah, I can give you an example from my own life. Like I know that I have a <laughs> wicked temper. It can be wicked. I've been like that my entire life. And it's just part of, you know, being, being, uh, you know, just being sassy or whatever. But the thing is that I know, I know that about myself and I know that I don't just want to pop off at someone automatically. I know that I'm going to regret that. So instead I wait a second before I respond and I've never been disappointed in waiting. I've never regretted that. But what I do regret is if I just go with what that emotion tells me right now is that I'm frustrated, you pissed me off, so now you're going to have to hear about it. If I go with that, then I'm impacting somebody else's day in a negative way, and I don't need to do that. Yeah, I know. I hate that. I hate that I acted some more ways I did to her. Mm-hmm. And being so jealous and just to find out that she wasn't lying to me about anything, she wasn't doing anything wrong. Right. My own insecurity that I had to work on. But now I trust her and I don't have any worries about her. 
took a long time to build that. Well, I mean, it sounds like that jealousy is is going to be there, you know. Like, I think she told me that you got mad for asking, she asked for a tissue from someone who happened to be a guy, and you got pissed off about it. No, I don't remember getting mad about a tissue. Okay, well. I don't remember that one. Okay, well, she said, this is what she's telling me, is that last night, you assumed that she was going to show her vagina or something. I think you guys were maybe messing around on the phone, and she thought maybe she had a problem down there while she was playing around. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she asked for a tissue to help clean up, and you got mad because it happened to be a guy. And you assume that, oh, she's just going to show her pussy to him. Well, that's, I was worried about that. Yeah, jealous. Because she's done that before. Jealous. She done it before. That's why I was upset about it. Jealous. Yeah. Yeah. I know it's jealousy. It's okay, jealousy. so this was this it, was yesterday. I know stuff I have to work on. Right, and so that's why you guys needed to break up and stop this whole thing. That's why it's ridiculous. If you think about it, it's ridiculous. I understand that you think you have these feelings, and she may think she has these feelings. But the reality is, is that they're, they're, they're hiding, you know, there's something hiding there. And you guys are trying to feed things into each other that are going to support these feelings. Like, you know, I was telling you the last time that we talked about how you're trying to make your security, your happiness, your sense of desirability, all of her responsibility to make you feel. Yeah. Rather than enjoying the companionship. And if there's stuff that you don't like, you know what you do, Lauren? You fucking take a walk. You don't deal with it for months. If she's teasing you about something and you don't like it, then you leave. You know what you do when you stay? You make yourself her bitch. You just don't want to believe bad things. You don't want to believe bad things? What does that mean? I don't want to to believe bad things about her. But you are believing them if you're screaming about them. I know. And, And half the time, from what I understand and from what I gather, is the things aren't even happening. You just you inject them into the conversation and you start getting mad about them. Yeah, I know. I, I put them there because they get, they get in my head. And but why are they in your head? Because something happens that uh, automatically makes me think that something is fucked up with the whole thing. And that's, that's where I miss your trust in. Well, then how, why is that her problem I, to fix? It, it's, it's not her problem to fix. Okay, it's but my you're, problem making to fix. Her, you're making it her problem. <laughs> because you're yeah, sitting there I'm, and you're screaming I'm, at her and forcing her to prove something to you. That's not even an issue. It doesn't even exist. And regardless of how she answers, you already have the answer in your mind. And that's what you've decided on. Yeah. Some shit I need to work on. You know what you're like, Lauren? You're like the dog that sees its reflection in the mirror and you just bark at it. Well, I do. But then I know exactly what you're saying when you say that because... I mean, that year know, and this year. We'll, we'll see. It, that's what my problem is, though. It's stuck in my head that that I gave her all my trust. And Why would you give all I your trust to her. someone? Why would you give all your trust to someone? Well, I, I trusted that she wasn't going to dick around. Were you in a relationship? We wasn't in a relationship, but okay. we were in a four day relationship. Okay, perfect. Just like with Winnie. 
you weren't in a relationship with her and you expected her to act as if she was in one with you. There's a problem. Yeah, but her, me and Winnie were in a relationship. Okay. Go back, to, go back to Paula, because this seems to be a problem for you. Go back to Paula. She was not in a relationship with you. No, Paula wasn't. No, but you expected but her we were, to act like she was. You expected no, we were, to we were act, headed, Lauren, Lauren. We were headed, Lauren, we were headed Lauren, for a relationship. Lauren, you were acting. That's what we were, were working expecting for. expecting her to act as if she was in one with you. You were not in one. There was no agreement. That's what we were working towards. So, was a but it wasn't. Ha but it didn't happen. No, it didn't. Right. I right. obviously put a lot more into it than she did. Yeah. I would have only known at the time. Right. Your expectation of her was way over the top. Yeah. No kidding. And there's nothing wrong with that on her end either. She didn't owe anything to you. Um. A big problem was I, I never should have introduced to my family and let her be around my family so much. As what Why? Was. You can introduce your friends yeah. to family. Why? Well, because I just I think it just made it harder for me. In the end, it made it harder for me. Well, I suppose it can make it, you know, a little bit more uncomfortable because then you have to answer to other people. That, you know, yeah. if they ask where she's at. But if your answer to that is, she cheated on me, well, that's just a big pile of bullshit. No. She didn't cheat on you. She wound you up going have... back to him. She wound up going back to Alaska and then she come back to visit two years later and she, uh, had thoughts of getting married to me in her head. Well, then she's fucked up, too. Yeah. I, that was a fucked up idea. I thought that weren't happening. Okay, fine. So why is she still having an impact on your life? Uh, why are you allowing that to happen? I don't know. I don't know why it's impacting me so hard. Just that fucking thing where... Where I trusted her so much with myself, and then it, but, it just fucking blew up in my face, and there's because because she and, went with someone else, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you weren't in a relationship, so what's wrong with that? Um, because in, in your mind, in my head, you were in my mind. In we were your mind. We, exactly the problem. Yeah. Exactly the problem. In your mind, yeah, you no. were in a relationship with her, but you really weren't. No. I bet really you, I bet you, if we talked to her now, in 2018, and said, what was it like back then with Lauren? You know, what, what did, did you think that you guys were together? Did you cheat on him? I have a, a big suspicion that she would say we weren't together. Yeah, she probably, she probably would say we weren't together. Right, and that was, Cause, that's the reality. Because we weren't, but, but that, in my head, that's what we were working towards. Okay, but together. you weren't. But you weren't. Right. It doesn't matter what you thought. That would matter to me because I couldn't have thought Repeat after me. Repeat after me. I should have thought different. Does, repeat after me. It doesn't matter what I thought. <laughs> it wasn't real. Why do you want me to repeat that? Because I, wa I want to try to get something through to you. Well, I want to try to get something through. Uh, the relationship wasn't real because it wasn't real that we weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. Exactly, but you expected no, her to act I never that asked way. Her. I never okay, asked her. Okay, so I, then there's I your did. problem. I just, huh? I just expected that. That was my right. problem. I never asked her. I right. just expected that. Right. And maybe that's why that hurt so much because I expected it and, and I, I thought it was just a mutual agreement between us yeah. that we were together. And it's just kind of yeah. like when you were talking about with your family and you did things for them um, and you said, this is a Christmas present. And I said, okay, cool. 
and then no. you didn't get anything in return, but you thought you should get something in return. I didn't. I didn't. Now, let me ex explain that. I, I, I told them, if you're going to get me something, then do this. Okay, I didn't want to go and spend a, bun a bunch of money. Okay, but they didn't. That's, okay, but they didn't. Okay, but they didn't. Yeah. They did, and that's what that's what bothered me because I, because I did so much for them and they didn't do anything back. So it was the thought about the whole thing is what bothers me so much. But whatever that's in the past now, I'm over okay. it. Now. Wow, really? Yeah, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it doesn't bother me a little bit because it, it does on. bother I me a little bit. Hang on, I think the sky just opened. <laughs> I think the sky just opens. Hey, you see some sunshine? <laughs> yeah, angels. Yeah. I'm not going to say that it doesn't bother me a little bit still, but because it does, but, you know, I just gotta, I got to let it go. It happened, and I got to let that go. Perfect. I, let I Paula go, too. Let Paula go, too. That I do need to let go. Yeah. I know that. Fucking right. hold on to that too, too fucking long. Right. I'm sick of holding on the well. Good. Then I hope you can actually do it. Especially and think other, about... We probably wouldn't be together. We probably wouldn't have been together today anyway because the way she was. Okay, listen. You probably wouldn't be together today anyway because of the way you are. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> that could be true too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, things like kicking the teeth. <laughs> you got it. Uh, now fix them for ass. you. <laughs> smart ass, sleepy like sister. You're smart ass. <laughs> yeah. She learned from me. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you have this all sorted out. Hey, um, by the way, I wanted to ask you, how many pages did you write? Since we talked. I haven't written any. Oh, okay. Okay. I went over to, I went over to Tony's last night. Uh-oh. No, oh, because I was, I was depressed. Okay, so it was what I suspected. I was depressed and I... Did the wrong mm -hmm. thing and made, made my depression worse. So I snapped out of it today, and I just get then I just get depressed again. I'm, I'm coming out of it. Well, depression is going to come and go. It's going to happen. You're going to have good times and you're going to have bad times. It's but you have to deal with them. You have to deal with them in a healthy way. Yeah, no, I'm like doing things around here to get this stuff done before winter. Okay. Well, it takes a lot of self-reflection. I mean, I'm not just talking about keeping your hands busy, you know, whether you're jerking no, off or you're um, painting or uh, building a shed. I don't know, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. Well, see, the, the reason I say that is doing things around here is because when I do things around here, I, I can think at the same time, and I can okay. do it in my own pace. Okay. And it makes it a lot easier to to absorb things, to be okay, able to good. think things through about how to go about fixing them. And, okay. I, 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 I really do think that that you intervening was more of a blessing than anything because I don't know how that would have turned out if you had not and they had let her out of out of there and the court had let her off probation mm -hmm. so I do think you intervening was was a blessing it's just that I'm still I am still going to wait for her. you can do that if you like <laughs> I hope that you don't though well, I'm going to... Because if I can tell you my hope for you, it would be that you kind of start to release all of this garbage that you have. You know, you've been carrying around a lot of stuff for the, for the last several years. You know, whether it be um, 
Betty, um, the sting, dealing with people reaching out to you from the internet who weren't genuine. I mean, how many of these women have there been? There's probably been quite a few. Amanda James should have been clue number one. And you'd be like, okay, there's a lesson there. Because I can understand, you know, if you're going on the internet for the first time and you don't really know, you're just like going to these chat rooms, you don't know that somebody is telling you a story and not really who they are. You have no idea because you're telling them who you are. And so you can't imagine that it would be anything different. So I can understand that. It was a mistake and you just didn't know about it. You can't know what you don't know. So. Yeah. That should have been a lesson, though. That's the problem, is that it should have been a lesson. You'd be like, okay, if I go on the Internet, the person I'm speaking to may not be who they're saying that they are, and I need to be careful. I need to take care of myself. I need to put certain things aside that are making me want to continue talking to this person, like, I'm feeling lonely. I really, really want a girlfriend. I want someone who's going to be devoted just to me. I want all of that. That's what I'm imagining a relationship to be. And you're just not going to find that. When did you send me messages? Oh, she did. Okay. Yeah. Make a video. Make a video singing happy birthday to my friend Gina, please. We'll leave it on my voicemail. Also, oh, that you would be nice. fucking, also, you are a fucking broke my heart. I'm crying so hard. Fucking it. Jesus Christ. This is not easy. Okay. She's going to be okay, Lauren. Do you want me to send you a popsicle and a coloring book, too? It works for her. <laughs> no. Okay. No, thanks. You're no, welcome. Thank you. <sighs> Don't tell her I read that to you. She'll be pissed. Okay. Well. <laughs> and she probably doesn't even like the idea of me talking to you on the phone. I'm sure that she doesn't. I'm not... Uh, I'm not always her favorite person. I can be I can be a little bitchy sometimes, but it's only with her best interest and and I'm the type of person who is willing to put her left foot down so hard that she gets the, what I'm talking about. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of that. I'm not just going to be like, "Oh, she's going to be upset." She's going to cry. That's one reason I think it's a good thing that you intervened, because... Mm -hmm. mm. It's it's not so bad. I know. You're going to be fine, too, just like she's going to be fine. I am going to wait for her. I told her I was going to wait for her, and I'm going to. And in that time, she can can get her shit fixed, and I can get my shit fixed, too. Then we'll be a lot better together. Well, I think that you're going to be waiting a long time. And I think that you should look towards other ways of of having a woman in your life. Somebody who's actually there. I mean, because I know that it was just, it was briefly mentioned, but I, I'm not comfortable with her moving 3,000 miles away from me. Well, I know you're not comfortable about that. I could tell that. Okay, so... That wasn't hard to tell. From my perspective, that's not happening. 
Yeah, so my suggestion, it's my perspective, and she'll see it my way too. Yeah, and so will you. When she's when she's better, when she's better, it, it'll be up to me and her. It's going to be up Not to up her. Not to anybody now. else. She'll see it my to way. Me and her, to, to me and her, it'll be up to me and her where we live. Well, you don't really have much choice in that. You're you're stuck where you are, right? No, I can move to any state I want to. I just have to change and switch probation officers. Oh. Okay. Well, that's another bridge for another day. For right yeah. now, I appreciate you breaking up with her. Don't keep dragging her through this either. About how you're hurt and you're sad. And you miss her so much. You still love her. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm always going to tell her I love her. I'm well, not going to take that away from her. Just be a normal a friend. Are you able to do that? I'm, I'm trying to. Okay. Perfect. But I will, I will never take the word I love her away from her. She doesn't deserve that to happen. Well, you're saying it in, in a loving way, like I'm in love with you kind of a way. And that's not what friends do. Mm -hmm. No, no, I, I just told her that I love her. All right, well, whatever. <sighs> she really is so special. I know. Okay, why don't you go make your video? All right. Okay, bye.